Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, Today we're gonna be talking about pumpkins. Uh, uh, that's the pumpkin. The one that, no, to your left. That one, yes. That's, that'd be a pumpkin. But, question. What? Question. Um, can pumpkins fly? What kind of question is that? Is, is that really even a question? Mm -hmm. Oh. Anyway, we're gonna start talking about different types of I pumpkins. I wanna know if they can fly! Can pumpkins fly? Let's find out. Fly! <coughs> Alright, so pumpkins can fly. Are there any other stupid questions? Here, sorry. What? Uh, can pumpkins drive under the influence? Pumpkins can't even drive, what are you talking about? They can't even drive, let alone no, drink by themselves. What are you thinking about? Uh, uh, uh. Mr. Pumpkin, you shouldn't drive. Don't tell me what to do. Drive if I want to. Uh. Alright, so pumpkins can drink and drive. Any other stupid questions? Right here. What now? Uh, do they work as helmets? Why would you want to wear a stupid helmet on your head and run into things with a helmet? This is a test to see if pumpkins make good helmets. Yep, again. Uh, are pumpkins flammable? I'll show you flammable. <laughs> are pumpkins flammable? Let's have Bobby test it out. No, no, no! That's not working! That's not working! Come on! No! I guess they are. That's the pumpkin, not you. Oh, I'm flammable. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now it starts up. Well, apparently pumpkins are flammable, just not at first. They just explode with flames, I guess. Any more questions? Yep, right here. What is it now? How far can I throw a pumpkin? I don't know. Look at your arm. You're weak. Probably like a negative half Santa. Whatever. I'll throw farther than that negative half Santa. Who can throw the pumpkin the farthest? First, let's see Kyle do it. Mmm, good, good. Hank, Hank is now measuring the distance. Two Santa. Right, three. Okay. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 19 and a half Santas. 19 and a half Santas. Nick is now up. How many Santas do you think that was? Uh, it'd be Kyle. Kyle's 19 and a half, wasn't it? Shit. 19 and a half Santas, uh, that's like 25 Santas, I want to say, good. 
cost him? Uh, 20. One. 22 Santas. Mommy's up. Okay, let's do this. Dude, negative one. Negative one Santa. Woo! Yeah, record. I'm, am I winning? <laughs> what? Whatever. Hank's up. What? Okay. That was one Santa. Uh, about one Santa and three quarters. Santa. So apparently everyone can throw pumpkins at a different length. Stupid Santa. Anyway, another question. Right here. Come on. Uh, so I got a gallon of milk and a pumpkin. Can it drink it in less than an hour without throwing up? You see? Yeah, good. Can it? Well, I guess we already proved that pumpkins can be intoxicated while driving, but you know, no, you know what? No, they can't. I'll bet you. Okay, this is the test to see if a pumpkin can drink a gallon of milk in an hour. <laughs> All right, it's been 10 minutes. Ugh. 36 minutes into it. Uh. 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 Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pumpkin 2 has one minute to finish his milk. Oh. <laughs> this isn't working. <laughs> So apparently, pumpkins can drink milk just in a little bit, a little bit more than an hour. But any other questions besides that? Uh, what's the terminal velocity of a pumpkin? Finally, a good question. Yeah. What is it? I ask. Mathematically, terminal velocity is described by the equation v t equals two, the square root of two m g over p a c d. V being the terminal velocity, M being the mass of a falling object, G the gravitational acceleration, C D the drag coefficient, P the density of the fluid the object is falling through, and A the object crossing the sectional area. Pumpkin! Okay, Kyle, throw the second pumpkin. Oh my God! You just killed Nick. Oh, uh, let's, let's get out of here. Come on. Wow, I learned a lot today. Class dismissed. Oh.